Here's what happens when you ask an artist to narrate their creative process as they're creating. I kind of just, and I start kind of going at it. So I'm just gonna kind of like to kind of do like a thing. Yeah. Um, just applying the red down here, it's gonna be like, ah, red, angry, and, uh, and I'm still mixing. Acrylic paint is acrylic paint, and that's about it. I feel like Bob Ross. If only I had a tree on here. Happy little tree. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. A little more red. Feeling like Bob Ross again. I think my favorite part of Bob Ross was when he would wash his brush and then he'd like slap it on the easel. That's what you're actually supposed to do if you're like a top-notch painter. That's a different lecture for another time. Just because black is like I've made a huge mess as I always do. I can hear my elementary art school teachers. This is such a waste of paint, Lindsay. And again, that was way too much paint, so I'm gonna actually like suck it back up. Oh, and I just splattered paint on my face. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it, and I have no idea if this is gonna work. Dabbing. Tap, 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 tap. I'm literally making this up as I go, guys. Wah! That was way too much. No, I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it, but I don't hate it. I'm an organic line. Eh, straight across. Do, 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 do. Usually I have music playing, but like, I don't have speakers yet. My filthy brush and the dirty orange water. I don't like how this looks. So, hmm. I'm done sort of stippling this. Is that the word? I think it's stippling. I don't know. Eh, I don't like the texture. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna start doing my little zigzag. I was working so hard on this drawing as a kid. It was like a park. It was a scene of a park, a guy on a bench, and it was deep and meaningful to me. I found it years later, and I'm like, what, what was this about? It's just a guy on a park bench. But I drew a squirrel. Basically, I messed up the, the line on the back of the squirrel. The inverse spine. I'm kind of improvising, not telling you guys what I'm doing anymore. So, that was way too much black paint. Ah, uh, yes. I'm sure some of you are like, what on earth is this woman doing? I can't, <laughs> I can't keep up and I'm like, oh, you can follow along. It's just impossible to follow. I'm sorry, I keep not telling you what I'm doing. I'm do do. Yeah, I actually don't mind how that looks. And I changed my mind. I don't like how that looks. Yeah, I don't really care if I get paint all over me. In fact, I just accidentally brushed paint on my film. It's fine. It's fine. Everything will be fine. First stroke is done. Just do a first stroke and then it's like, well, past the point of no return. I didn't like that brush stroke. Or that one, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> That's what I say to myself all the time, or to my husband, and it drives him crazy. It's not Lindsay, you've gotta stop saying that. I'm like, oh, if I keep saying it, it'll be true, right? No, that's not how the world works. Um, it's paint permanently splattered on my computer monitor. I need, ah, I need more water. Mm -hmm. Splat, splat. God, when I was a kid, I once did this. First time, I was like eight. I was in my grandparents' basement at a, uh, an easel that they'd set up. I had the brilliant idea, like, oh, I'm gonna try splatter paint for the very first time. And mom came downstairs. She was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm doing splatter paint. Lindsay, look at the wall behind the easel. It's covered in splatter paint. So I spent the next 20 minutes hand scrubbing all that paint off of the wall. And it was so bad that I think my mom was like, you have to do this before your grandparents see. <laughs> so that was fun. Oh, where do I want it? Where do I want it? Woo! I, woo! I'm already splattering, but not my painting. Everything but the painting is being splattered at this moment. I swear to God, I've got the world's most patient husband. Like, out in our living room, I've got like this little square foot of space on the floor that's just like a half empty can of gold spray paint, rhinestones that I've glued together, of plastic pieces, and I don't know what I'm using them for, but they're out there. For when inspiration strikes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Eh, yeah. oh no, that's okay. Woo, no, don't stop dripping. I need more of you. Woo. What would Bob Ross say right now? Happy little, little paint drips? I don't know, guys. Give it the little shake to see if I can help it out. No, no, no. Don't like Oh, actually. I'm just gonna let it happen. Do you guys remember that song from high school? Shake, shake, shake it. I set that as my alarm for so long. and <laughs> It's not something you wake up to on a Tuesday and go, Oh, I feel refreshed and ready for school. Any young people listening to this right now are like, What are they? What is she talking about? I don't even know. Do I have scissors in here? I don't think I do. Avert your eyes if you don't want to see me tear this page. <laughs> ah, the blasphemy. Um, do, do, do. Ah, ah, that's okay. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Ugh. Paint looks so gross when you're first mixing it into a fluid. It's like curdled cheese. Like, gross. Stop it. I'm gonna mix it more vigorously so I don't have to look at that. Blend. Blend. Mm -hmm. You can see how clumpy that white is. Should have mixed it better, but that's okay. A spot. 
for my little painting thing to go. Everyone's probably going, but you're working on a painting, Lindsay. What are you talking about? Drip. Darn you, drip. I know you can. Drip. I'm an impatient artist. My style is kind of messy like this because I'm not patient. Oh, I just thought of something, actually. Literally holding on to this. Literally holding on to it since elementary school. Alrighty. Look at how the... the... the uh... uh the, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, so cool. Ah, woo, didn't mean to streak that. That's okay. It'll be fine. My little catchphrase, it'll be fine. If I say it's fine, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. So, ah, so cool. I'm gonna put this guy here. He's kind of a fiery. Ah. Don't smear. Kind of a fiery color and texture. Where do I want to put it though? Maybe here? You know, Nan, our art teacher in elementary school. I remember her saying, you know, when you're an experienced artist, then you can leave blank spaces. You guys are six and you're not experienced artists, so you have to fill your entire page every time you make a drawing or a painting. I don't want to see empty space because that means you just gave up halfway. Them's the breaks, all right, Nan's just telling us how it is. Ah, uh, that's too big of a piece. That's not gonna work. Do do do. Eh. I'm almost done. I know I've been saying that for like an hour. We went on a lot of cool camping trips every year with our classes. Mr. Martin, I, I don't know if he's uh, on here. I think he maybe said he might tune in. We'd go on these hiking trips. You know, we're like a bunch of angsty 12 year old and we'd be like, Mr. Martin, how much farther? And his thing was just 10 more minutes. You know, he'd say it like six times. So he ended up getting us all to walk like 10 miles per hike at the age of like 12 when you don't want to do anything. Well, little white drip is just staring at me like, love me. I'm so boring. <laughs> now you're not boring. So, you know, I think this is as far as I can get today. Um, but I'm very, very happy with how it turned out.